Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Subtip webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to download and install Windows Admin Center in Windows 10 computer. Windows Admin Center is becoming more and more popular day by day. It allows you to configure and troubleshoot your servers and manage all of your Windows server workloads remotely using a web interface. In this video, we will download and install Windows Admin Center on Windows 10 computer which is a part of Active Directory domain name Mahalab.local. For this demo, we are using the TSLAB created in VirtualBox. This is our domain controller named WS2K19-DC01 for Mahalab.local domain. And we have one more virtual machine with Windows 10 operating system and that VM is part of our Active Directory domain Mahalab.local. We can install a Windows Admin Center on Windows Server 2016, Windows Server 2019 and new version of Windows 10 computers. Remember, we cannot install a Windows Admin Center on domain controllers. Let's jump to our Windows 10 virtual machine and on this Windows 10 computer, we will log in using the domain admin's username and password. First. Uh, we will download the latest version of Windows Admin Center on this computer. And for that, I'm going to open Microsoft Edge web browser. And uh, let's search for Windows Admin Center. Click on the first link. Download Windows Admin Center, we need to click on this link. Here we can see Windows Admin Center, it is uh, free of cost and it has an MSI package. Let's click on continue to download it. Fill up the required details to download the setup. After filling up all the details, I click on continue. Now we will have a download link and download is already started. Wait for the process to download the setup. Okay, setup has been downloaded successfully. Uh, let's open File Explorer. Let's click on Downloads. And here we can see the setup of a Windows Admin Center. At the time of this video recording, the latest version of Windows Admin Center is 2103.2. Let's double click on that setup to start the installation process. I'm going to accept the license terms and then I'm going to click on next to continue. Select an option to send diagnostic data to the Microsoft to make Windows Admin Center better. Here we have a two options. We can select either required diagnostic data to send it or we can select required and optional diagnostic data. I'm going with default one which is required diagnostic data. Click next to continue. I'm going to click next since I have checked for the Windows update earlier and this Windows 10 computer is up to date. In the last video, we have discussed about two modes those are supported for Windows Admin Center, which are desktop mode and a gateway mode. On Windows 10 computer, we cannot use gateway mode as that mode is only supported for a Windows servers. Installing a Windows Admin Center on Windows 10 enables you to manage computers or servers directly from this PC using a web browser. In gateway mode, Windows Admin Center installed on a supported Windows Server version and can be accessed remotely from a client browser on a different machine. So in short, we can install Windows Admin Center on Windows 10 computer in desktop mode only. And we cannot access Windows Admin Center web interface from any other computer from our network. Now I'm going to click on next to continue. Select the port for the Windows Admin Center site 
and by default in desktop mode it will use port number 6516 if you want you can change it as per your requirement now i am also going to select this uh, checkbox in front of create a desktop shortcut to launch windows admin center as we can install to start the installation process as you can see the installation is completed successfully the last window informs you about the certificate the first time when you open windows admin center it will ask to select the certificate which will bind to windows admin center web interface now i'm going to click on finish to close the window uh, let's close file explorer and uh, i'm also going to close microsoft edge web browser Uh, we have created a shortcut on our desktop for to access Windows Admin Center web interface. I'm going to double click on it to open Windows Admin Center web interface. As you can see, it is telling us to select the certificate for authentication, and this is a self-signed certificate which is created by Installation Wizard Windows Admin Center client. Let's select it and click on OK. And suppose if you have multiple certificates on your computer then you will have options to select those certificates as well but for us we have only one certificate and that is windows admin center client let's click on okay to select it and this certificate will bind to the windows admin center website Okay we got the message that successfully installed Windows Admin Center version 2103.2 Let's close it and here we have a one more confirmation that we have successfully updated extension catalog and here we can see message that it is currently updating the extensions here we can see the name of a Windows in computer which is ws10-cli01.mar.local Under type we can verify it is Windows 10 a PC. If you want to connect to this Windows 10 computer, you just need to click on that name of that Windows 10 computer. Let's wait for a few minutes. We can see the Oreo information of our Windows 10 computer on Oreo tab. Now we can easily manage this Windows 10 computer using this web interface. We also want to manage our domain controller using Admin Center, and for that, first we need to add our domain controller into this Windows Admin Center web interface. And for that, I'm going to click on Windows Admin Center. then i'm going to click on add under add or create resources uh, we need to select servers uh, since we want to add our domain controller and then after i'm going to click on this add button and the server name which is ws2k19-dc01.mylbrook.local in my case Let's click on Add button to add this server to Windows Admin Center web interface. We can see that this server is added successfully. Let's click on server name to connect it. We can see the overview information of our domain controller, and we can easily manage our domain controller using Windows Admin Center web interface. That concludes the video on how to download and install Windows Admin Center in Windows 10 computer. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.